hi guys welcome back to the course so before we can separate the sidebar header and footer we will make some changes as well so first of all let's copy this whole div blog header inside the container and let's go cut it from here and let's paste it inside this call md8 sm8 blog main so paste it and now let's go ahead to the blog page and refresh it now let's add a, a margin top to the sidebar so scroll down until you see the sidebar now you can see the sidebar here so let, let's add a style to sidebar Oops, equals to margin top equals to 50 pixels and save it now if I go ahead to, to the browser and refresh let's make it 150 actually now if I refresh it now you can see the space has been created so let's do some more modifications let's add some uh, lines between these titles of the sidebars so let's go to this h4 so we will add a hr tag control c and let me show you what it does oops it's not why okay now i have saved now now if i refresh now you can see this line which is separating the title from the form so now let's add this hr tag below all the h4 tags inside the sidebar so subscribe and the last one is this elsewhere and if i go ahead and refresh now you can see it is looking a bit nicer now so now let's uh, separate the header footer and sidebar so first of all we will cut all the code from here to the top and cut it and now we will open the header file let's go to blog cms our project folder includes and header and let's paste all of that inside this file and now we will save this file and now let's go and get the sidebar so this is the sidebar sidebar is starting from here so let's cut it let's cut the sidebar and put it in a separate file as well so now cut it save it and let's open the sidebar file which is inside the includes sidebar.php and paste it now oops now there is one more thing left we will also separate out the footer so cut all the code below the main you can see this blog main cut it and now open the footer.php which is also inside the includes and footer.php and now let's go back to our index.php and now we have to include these files inside our index.php file so include and the first file was header oops uh, file was inside the includes and the name of the file was header dot php and let's copy this and 
let's add it here and below as well this one will be sidebar.php and this one will be photo.php now if i refresh the page i can see there is no difference that means that we have separated the header footer and sidebar successfully so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next one